Hey guys, it's Zach here, and I don't know how this is going to look because I don't even know what the footage I got, but um, tonight, which is Tuesday night, the, uh, the 9th of December, um, my Thursday night show, which was at uh, Irwin's 19th Hole in Lake Alley, is burnt down, which kind of sucks, but um, you know, whatever. So this video is kind of for anyone that subscribed to me and everything to let them know what's kind of going on. But also for anyone in the Chippewa Valley and Lake Halley area, Eau Claire, whatever, that used to go there, and it's for some reason on YouTube looking around. So I got some pictures of the place, which I'll flash up there. And, uh, you know, regardless of, you know, Irwin, I talked to Irwin tonight, he says he's going to rebuild the place. I am going to be looking for another Thursday night show in the meantime which will probably, I'm hoping to get into the red zone which is also in Lake Alley and not that far away from where Irwin's was but um, you know we'll kind of see what happens there or, or I'll be looking at places in Eau Claire that are smoke free since I don't smoke so um, we'll, uh, we'll kind of see what happens with that but um, you know what here's, here's some shots and some video from that I took from earlier tonight all right, guys, here we are. There's the roof right there. That wall was where, actually, about two feet down is about where, as high as my light truss would go. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be DJing here this Thursday. Sure doesn't look like it. Got firemen sitting over there. Man, that's too bad. Not a, not a good time for this to happen with the economy being the way it is. and. And everything else. I really wonder if it was a, a fireplace deal that went that went up in smoke or if it was a, a kitchen deal. I'm, th I'm thinking that it was probably a, well I don't know because it's all it's all centralized over there. But yeah that was my Thursday night show. Probably no more. Unless they uh, just close off the one end. But I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, guys, I didn't think I'd be able to get this close, but and I know you can't see because it's dark out, but there is no roof there. Well, I'm going to show you when I walk inside. This is where my Thursday night gig was. Let's just say that you can probably see that there's no siding there because it's all melted away. You know, this night shot you'd think would be better, but it's not. It makes it green, right? It makes it green, but I don't know if it's because it's cold or what. My, it definitely smells like melted shit. But that is the sky. And here's something going across. But this is actually totally... This is where I used to set up, right there. Nothing but trees and sky. Wow. Oh, here. There's the moon. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, there isn't much insulation left on this side. I don't even know what I'm stepping in. You know, if they would have like started like climbing up on the roof of the fire extinguisher at first, it probably would have. Oh my god, dude! Me and you with the water pressure, the right chemicals. Oh, thirty seconds. Seriously, I oh, got okay. here, no problem. Really? Oh yeah, dude. Like. I didn't have enough water pressure in the holes, but if I had the right shit to put on it, it was all. But then they sat and fucked around. Oh Fuck it, eh? Oh my god. I, I told the fucking lady, dude. She was walking on the street. I pulled her aside. I was like, you go check when the 911 call was made and then put that against when they showed up. That's. I don't know if they're trying to fucking show, hey, we need to. Well, yeah, that's it's nice that they make you pay the freaking penalty yeah. for oh, that. Yeah, let's bring the fucking place down to show everybody that. Yeah, that we need a fucking. So as you guys can see, there ain't much left of the place. Um, I mean, at least in the new section where he's set up. So um, we'll kind of see what happens with that. So, uh, Erwin and Doug, if you guys are watching this, you know, don't worry what I said, guys, means it, I mean it. There's always a silver lining to, 
to anything that happens and uh, you know you guys can rebuild this and it'll be better than what it was before so and any of you ladies any of the bartenders that were working there anyone you guys uh, you know I'll be back as soon as it's as soon as it's opened up and I hope you guys are too so um, and Thad <laughs> Mr. Bouncer and Kyle the guy the cleanup guy um, you know we'll see you back there so anyways um, yeah oh well it sucks but Doug bought me a shot of uh, besides all the other stuff I drank tonight a shot of uh, what the heck was it wild turkey honey actually it wasn't that bad and then uh, the Bud Light Lime is helping me through the night too so anyways guys thanks for tuning in practice and enjoy and uh, we'll see you later <laughs>